Now, delighted to be joined by Neve McCarthy of Drum Colour Broadford ahead of a big weekend for the club. And it's been a busy few weeks, Neve, with the little One Good Club initiative. Would you be able to just explain what it is, first and foremost? Um, yeah, so the campaign itself is known as Little One Good Club, and it's an association with the Ladies Gaelic Football Association, um, along with Jigsaw. So, Jigsaw would be, I suppose, the primary organisation here in Ireland that would, um, I suppose, provide advice to young people on mental health. So it's an amazing program. And I suppose as a teacher for myself, um, I've actually developed so many, I suppose, gathered so many resources and ideas and things to actually put forward here um, in school. So you can see um, I'm in school, but I teach SBHE as well. So um, I think it was kind of an easy, an easy one for me to get involved with here in the club. And can you run us through some of the stuff you've done so far? Um, so yeah, so with Jigsaw, um, I suppose their purpose themselves is to promote uh, mental health and ways in which we can cope with our own mental health. So they outline five themes. So the first theme is be active. The second theme is take notice. Third is connect. Fourth is give. And the fifth is keep learning. And we've just been absolutely flat out for the last, uh, I should say, nine weeks. We're coming into our final week is what we're uh what we have this week but uh, we've been absolutely flat out we've had amazing um coffee mornings which just i suppose involves the whole community and one of the main goals for us is that when we got involved with it it wasn't just for our members so our players our parents our mentors get involved with it. it was supposed to be um, a community-wide initiative and i really do think that we've kind of broken the barrier there we've got involved with so many people whether it be um the local tiny towns preschools the primary schools nursing homes care homes animal rescue centers it's really really been um just i suppose so available to everyone in our community and even our own uh, ga club uh, we've had such amazing support from them as well so i suppose they're really heavily involved with the big show at the weekend um you know, so it's it's lovely to have everyone involved, and it really really creates this positive atmosphere, and we're all just buzzing in the club. To be quite honest with you, um, yeah. So it's it's amazing uh, how something so simple can you know be a real driving force in the club. Yeah, and you mentioned the big the big event at the weekend. You obviously have a, a very special guest for a very special talk here on Carey's going out to the club. Yeah, so like this week is keep learning, and we actually put I suppose a strong emphasis on uh, mental health. And Kieran Carey was just, I think he's an amazing figure. Um, so we actually have him coming out to the club um, on Sunday. So that's in association with the GA club as well. Um, I just think it was important that we had as many people as possible to get involved and get in to actually see Kieran. So he's actually going to be talking about um, three major, three major things really. So first of all, he'll talk about his own real life experiences, which I just think is very important um, that you have someone who's gone through it, you know. Um, second of all, he's going to be talking about, I suppose, the importance of looking after your mental health. And third of all, is destigmatizing the idea of depression and addiction. So yeah, it's going to be available to everyone over the age of age of 13. So we would encourage uh, people who are aged 13 to 17 to be supervised by an adult. And that's just really, really important that um, you know, their parents are involved as well and they're getting a feel for what he's talking about. And then, of course, it's available to everyone. And I suppose one of the main things that I want to say as well is that it is free and it doesn't just have to be, you know, people from Drum Colour or Broadford. Um, it can be anyone um, at all. We don't mind where you where you come from, but we really, really would like to drive that on and encourage people to come and listen to Kieran. Um, especially with even Darkness into Light. So Pieta House, House's uh, Darkness into Light was just last week. And we had an amazing turnout. We actually organized a group ourselves. So we had, I think it was about 60 to 70 uh, people at four o'clock in the morning in the Castle West, um, you know, just to gather together and uh, stand with people, you know, who I suppose suffer with their mental health and unfortunately, um, you know, go down that, the route of self-harm. So yeah, uh, we're really, really looking forward to it. Um, I haven't met you on myself now, um, and I will be in trouble too on Sunday, unfortunately, but hopefully I'll get to chat to him um, afterwards. So really, really looking forward to it. Yeah, you just talked about mental health there in the darkness and the light, and I suppose the, the GA community can play a huge role in that. Obviously, it's it's very important in Dr. Broadford, but every rural parish and even the city parishes around the county that you, know, you can rely on your, your local club if, if you need to speak out, and it's important to speak out if it needs to be. Um, th I've really only realised that, uh, how much a club does in terms of these five teams. I couldn't get over it, like, and especially I think with the BT Young Scientists, the lads focus on 
um, so Shane and Dean, or if you have you, whatever, but um, they really focus on the idea of social well-being, uh, mental well-being and physical well-being. And what clubs do for young people and, you know, adults and mentors, whoever gets involved, is absolutely unbelievable. And for anyone that's involved in a team, like reflect on that. And that was something that we, it was kind of the take notice team. Um, it was the fourth week, I think we got involved in that. And we just kind of did a little survey on Mentimeter and just asked our players um, to reflect on how they feel in certain situations. And um, so it might be, how did you feel after meeting your friends um, at training? How did you feel um, when you engage in physical exercise? Things like this, like, and what the clubs do is just outstanding. So for anyone who, you know, even a parent who doesn't um, necessarily play sport at the moment, like there's things there now put, put in place, mothers and others in ladies football, trying to get everyone involved and, it's it's just really really cool, and I really only realised that in the last couple of weeks, in what we do for um for young people and you know anyone who likes to get involved in team sport, it's really amazing. Yeah, the club is a, a, a huge outlet. Matt, I'll throw up to you there for a minute. Yeah, uh, Neve, having having sp spoken to you in the last week about it, um, I I think it's absolutely extraordinary the manner in which you have embraced the entire concept. And, and what it is all about. And in, in particular, um, the way that you have reached out to all, and I mean the, all in all capital letters, all the community. Yeah, and, and I mean like this goes from primary schools, uh, preschools, the local businesses, whether they be salons, hairdressers, bakeries, and um, tidy towns, animal rescue centers, it really is something that we focused on there that it was, I suppose, to get involved with many pe as many people as possible in the local community um, and more. But it was so that we'd actually leave a legacy after us. Um, and it's not just this idea of, oh, yeah, sure, we're going to go off and into this competition and see how we get on, blah, blah, blah. Like, we actually wanted this to be meaningful. And the more people we got involved um, and got involved with, I thought, the stronger uh, that legacy would be. Yeah, the, the the whole logistics of the 10 weeks, and it was a 10-week program, uh, as you said, divided into five uh, teams. Um, you, you know, w with the myriad of events that he, that he organised was absolutely simply phenomenal. Um, I understand that you headed up, uh, you spearheaded a very, very active subcommittee within the club. Um, yes, uh, absolutely. Like, this isn't a one person job. There was eight of us on the committee. Um, and like, I thought the most interesting was, was that each of the people involved was from like a different background. So I would have been a teacher. You had another girl who's actually uh, studying uh, psych, uh, psychiatric nursing. Another uh, person was a project manager in uh, Chagas. Like another person is involved in the county councils, in Newcastle West. So, you, you know, you had a lot of different areas of expertise, which we fed into. Uh, for the last 10 weeks and you know you can't do any of this unless you've got a really really strong team behind you so I'd just like to credit everyone on that uh, committee I know I'm here you know in front of you today but without the expertise of all those people um, I don't think it would have been half as successful as it has been so far. Yeah 